Hi guys, it's Patricia and today I'm excited to bring to you something a little different for me. Normally I only get scent of the month, but I have scent and warmer of the month coming up for September 2019 with Scentsy. So I have my box, let's open it up. I saw the warmer and immediately knew I wanted to get it. This is the very first warmer I've got in about a year and a half of being a consultant and I've only one time not got the scent of the month. So I'm just very, very excited to share with you guys the warmer. So here it is. It is called Manic Mansion. And I will show it to you. So this one here, oh, it will be featured at 10% off starting September 1st. And man, is there a lot of stuff going on September 1st. There's a warning. It says this product may contain sharp edges. Use caution when assembling. And there's styrofoam. One moment. Okay, I finally have it. It only took me about two full minutes to get it out. It looks like Christmas here because there's styrofoam everywhere. <laughs> like literally everywhere. Oh my gosh, that was a workout to get that out. Okay, so the lid is actually already on the warmer. Or the, the dish, I should say. It's a square dish. It has the number four on the bottom. And there's a lot of packing and the bulb is inside. And the great thing about this one is it has a green bulb. So I have, actually have a green bulb going in my bedroom here, just one of my warmers. I was trying to use up my colored bulbs. This is a perfect example of where colored bulbs really come in handy. So this is a 25 watt. So you could even use red, orange, yellow, or green, or the standard color. And we have our dish. So here's what it looks like without the top. We've got the windows, the jack-o'-lantern, the ghost, the door, the creepy fence. And here we have the top. Oh, and the top doesn't sit very straight on mine. There we go. Took a little, oh my goodness, it even has like a broken window. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let me put it down for a second, and I am going to plug it in for us. I have it plugged in, and here it is. Oh, look at it. I love it. It's great. You get your little green, and there's holes in the top of the lid. Lots of openings for the scent to come out. Oh, I'm so excited. So here we have the flyer. and Manic Mansion. Now, like I said, it is a 25 watt. It's 21 centimeters tall. And the price in Canada is $59.40 for September. And in the US, it's $45. And that's the sale price. After that, if it's still, still available, it goes back up to regular price. Contact your consultant or myself if you need any questions answered about this. We'd be more than happy. And it's not very heavy. It's made of metal. I love it. This is a really cute piece. Now let's move on to the scent of the month. It's my favorite part. It is called Caramel Apple Craze. And we're getting it in a Mylar pouch. Oh, I can smell it already. It's not even out of the pouch. Woo! I can smell it. There we have it. Red wax and almost like a peachy brown colored front. All you Johnny Appleseed lovers and Caramel Sugar Cone lovers are going to be happy. Let me read you the scent notes for Caramel Apple Craze. It says, creamy golden caramel, sweet red delicious apples, and whipped vanilla make, or sorry, whipped vanilla invite you to be a trick or treater again. So definitely can smell it, no problem. I would say it's a medium plus on intensity. I could smell it coming out of the packaging but before I even got it out of the Mylar bag. I get a lot of caramel first, but on the bottom, you definitely get the apple. I would say on the bottom, I get maybe two thirds apple and a third caramel. And on the top, it's more closer to 50 50. So it'll be interesting to see once this warms. What I'll try to do is warm it and then add a little insert. And at the end of the video, you can stick around and hear what the performance was like. And then I'll maybe upload it a day or two later. Uh, yeah, I'll try it in my open concept layout and see how it does. Now that one here is going to appeal to a lot of people. 
It's very, it's definitely Macintosh, definitely that golden caramel, which imparts a lot of sweetness. It's not very bitter. It's just nice. This is going to be a good one. So this is the last month that Poppy Fields would be available, which came out in February. That one is a very strong performing floral. It's not a boom in your face, but it's definitely strong and definitely long lasting. And the people that love it absolutely love it. So if you are one of those people, make sure you stock up or put it in your Scentsy Club. You should almost not wait anymore with Scents of the Month. You should put them in as soon as you can. Hi guys, I'm back. When I filmed my other video, it was Friday around supper and here it is Sunday late afternoon. So I've had three days to warm the new Scent of the Month Caramel Apple Crease. And I just wanted to come on and tell you a little bit. Now when I smelled it on Cold Zip, I definitely could smell the apple and the caramel. I didn't even talk about the vanilla. But I thought that it was kind of close to Johnny Appleseed and Caramel Sugar Cone. I just kind of glossed over it. So I put it downstairs in my open concept space. I put four cubes and that is a big, huge area. I divide them four cubes amongst three warmers and it had no problem strength and throw wise. I would say strength is probably about a seven and a half and throw might have been more than that because I felt it really, really traveled. I would be upstairs here in my bedroom with the door closed and I could smell it coming. So <laughs> I would say throw might even be like eight and a half, nine. I think in a smaller zone, it would be a little bit stronger. So basically the scent notes to, just to review are creamy golden caramel and red delicious apples and whipped vanilla. So definitely get the golden caramel and a creamy golden caramel. Caramels can be dark and bitter. This is definitely sweet and golden. So the earlier you stop your caramelization of the sugar, the sweeter and almost more butterscotch type caramel you're going to have. If you let it go, it gets more bitter tones. And that's what they use a lot in like salted caramel. So this is definitely on the lighter side. And I think the vanilla helps keep it on that lighter side of things. The red delicious apple, to me, it's not really like a red de delicious apple once you put it in the warmer because red delicious apples are pretty sweet. And once you start warming this up, it's kind of got the combination of like a sweet tart, almost sour component. So that's kind of what you get early on. And obviously I talked about the vanilla. Now there's some things in here I feel that they did not mention. So about 10 minutes into warming, I immediately could pick up maple. I'm not a huge maple fan. So that kind of brought it down for me, a little bit of a disappointment for me. The other thing I felt like I could smell a little bit was some sort of alcohol or boozy note, maybe a brandy of some sort, an apple brandy, I'm not sure. And I find when you put all those things together, it kind of led like there was almost a little bit of a golden amber tone to my nose. It reminds me a tiny, tiny bit early on of Autumn Blaze Maple. There's a similar note in both fragrances that my nose is picking up on. I think it might be the maple, but just the kind of the higher tone of that maple. And there's another wax, I think from Sensational called Pumpkin Apple Muppet Muffins also had that kind of smell to me at one point. Not a favorite smell of mine. That kind of aspect of the warming kind of went away after about four to five hours. So for me, because I stuck it out, after four or five hours, it really started to change that those kind of maple, ambery kind of notes started to go away. You're left more with like a slight apple, but more of a caramel. And as day three came around, it's really like a soft gooey caramel kind of vibe with vanilla. So I would say early on, I did not really like it very much. And then I liked it much better on day two. And I like it on day three as well. On day three, I think we're at the 17 hour mark. It's pretty light. So day two, it was also quite strong. I think I warmed it five hours on day one, four hours on day two, and I think uh, eight hours on day three. It's still going, and I would say downstairs it's about uh, maybe like a four or five out of 10. If you warm this scent and it's not to your liking at the beginning, stick it out and see because it will change. It's just an example of one of those scents that changes. It is a great scent for people that love apples, people that love caramel, and as long as you don't mind a little hint of like a boozy note, which I'm not exactly sure if it's like bourbon or brandy, and you don't mind a little bit of maple early on, you might really, really enjoy this scent. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next video.